Hello, my name is Amanda Aldama and I'm a senior here in the Sociology Department at San Jose State University. So, what is it like being a Sociology student? I mean, I've known my experiences, but I was interested in finding out the experiences of others and the memories that they would be taken away from here as we prepare to graduate. The following film provides some insight to what this journey has been like and answers the two questions that we've all come to love and are probably on your mind right now. What is sociology and what are you going to do with that degree? So without further ado, I present I am a sociology student. Sociology is the study of human behavior in the society and how society is run. I usually tell people that sociology is very much like psychology except we study a group of individuals instead of just like one person. Uh, sociology is the study of interactions between one another in society. You know, groups of people and their interactions with one another along with the institutions that come into play. Sociology is the study of development, the structure, and just the fundamentals of society and how humans interact. And it could be about social problems, it could be about race, it could be about gender, it's just a variety of things. It's really everything that's around you. Sociology is, at its core, this discipline of compassion and empathy. And so, um, to me, these past four years have just been a practice of those kind of core values. For people like me, I thought, you know, maybe I was different or something, but it, I'm not different. I'm just not socially constructed the same way other people like, you know what I mean? It makes me realize that I have nothing wrong with me in my thought process. We look at the problems that are going on in society, we analyze them, and again, we also apply it to the institutions, but we also look at the very micro level as well. For me it means actually looking at things and taking the time to think about why the world is the way it is and what's behind that. It's not like you know you just see things the way they are there's always a, a larger story behind it and sociology has definitely helped me to be able to look and try and figure out what that story is. When I was in high school, I actually was having difficulty trying to understand why I always wanted to have an answer as to why did this happen? Why do people act like this? Why do people talk like this? What drove this person to do this act? And it gave me a sense of feeling like I'm not crazy. I belong in sociology. This is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I always liked studying like people and getting to know people more on like that kind of level instead of a psychology level. I knew for a fact that I wanted to work with people and so sociology kind of seemed like the most reasonable choice. With meeting with one of the advisors we talked about everything and uh, all my life growing up, I, every time my dad used to tell me to do something I asked, always ask why just to know why and understand why we're doing things the way we do and you know the um, advisor said that would be really good to learn sociology then because you figure out the whys. But sociology is something I knew nothing about, and it was challenging. So like every class I have in sociology, I'm learning something new, new definitions, new theories, uh, and, a new t and a new shape on life. I first came here as an engineering student, and once I started doing kind of bad in the math classes, I started to reevaluate what I wanted to do. I figured out that I wanted to do counseling, and I realized that sociology would be a great stepping stone to do that. I chose to study sociology because eventually I don't want to be a lawyer. But sociology, I felt that it just fit with what I wanted to work in. But when I took actually the first class, I realized that I wanted to stay in there because everything that you learn in sociology classes is everything that's actually happening in life. It's important because sociology is something that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You're always interacting, you're always communicating with people, you're going to be communicating with people from different cultures, from different backgrounds, um, a different race from you, a different ethnicity of you, you know, so being able to understand concepts and theories of how people interact is just going to help you to make better relationships in your life and overall 
be successful. Honestly, sociology has provided me with so many great critical thinking skills. We analyze more than just sitting there reading a text and try to regurgitate it. We actually look at a text, we look at a quote, and we ask even why is that the way it is. We all know stories about racism and discrimination and sexism and classism and all these things that we talk about, but we don't really analyze it in other classes. We don't look into the context of why people are doing this, why, what forces are in motion, and it's the home for critical thought that isn't really anywhere else. I think it's important to know how society functions. Um, I think, especially when you, if you take, if you ever take in the sort of like socialization class, um, you'll be surprised at how much society plays a huge role in your life. I think it's a lot harder to be racist and sexist and classist and homophobic um, if you have taken sociology courses and have heard the experiences of these people that you may have not known anything about and that's why it's easy to demoralize them or to objectify them. Uh, but when you hear their words and you see their lives and you take that minute to kind of put yourself in their shoes, you become more compassionate. I think it's important for students to study sociology because um, it gives them a better idea of the world around them, how their institutions, government education, etc., are constructed around them, and how they can use that knowledge to reshape them. In my Social 57 class, Community Involvement and Personal Growth, it was just like a light bulb went off when I took that class. Like all the work I'd been doing in the community, um, it finally seemed to relate to something that I would want to do as a career. I never would have known that I could study this for a major, that I could actually get a degree in the questions that I'm always asking in everyday life anyways. My professor, um, Preston Rudy, he made us read a lot of different uh, social theorists and my aha moment was when I was reading Karl Marx. It just made sense and society made sense to me and I understood what capitalism was. I understood what it meant to just understand a concept that we talk about so much in the news and finally be able to talk to somebody else about it. So that was my aha, I got it. <laughs> it was actually in my social theory class where we were learning about the stereotypes that we put on people and I just realized like wow like this is actually something that is happening around me. I feel like I had an aha moment like during every single semester in every single class. Like I would be sitting there and the professor would say something or a peer would say something and I would just sit there and, and be like, oh my gosh, that is truth. Like, and that is going to affect the way that I think for years to come. Most memorable thing is just the connections I made with so many people. I got to meet professors on a one-on-one -on -one level. Um, they helped me to understand not only who I am, but who I'm going to become and who I'm becoming. Uh, I made a lot of friendships with other peers. Uh, something memorable that uh, I experienced in sociology were the professors. I feel as though they are more than professors because each class that I've taken so far is incredible. If it's not from Myers Lipton uh, encouraging to like go out and do stuff, it's from Mitra Rockney's like, you know, this is what reality really is, or from like Professor Chua to like, you know, this is like all like the statistics that you really need. One thing in particular would be the project that we're doing right now for my Social 105 class. We're doing the awareness of crime on campus and I feel that's something that I will always take with me because it's something that I was a part of that I was able to hopefully try and make a change for campus even though I will be leaving graduating it's something that I would feel good about knowing that it probably helps future students. I think over the past four years um, I've been in this environment that doesn't just foster like learning about injustice or recognizing injustice but actually doing something about it um, when it's seen and when it's recognized. Um, and I think being in that environment, um, I've been able to be a part of a lot more social action than I ever thought I would be. And I'm really grateful to professors who foster that in their students and 
students who take it upon themselves to um, do something when it's necessary. I don't think I'd be able to take just one thing away from my experience in the social department. I think it's just the sum of everything. Because going through the program was eye-opening and it kind of changed the way I see the world and I don't think I'm ever going to go back. The most memorable thing that I'd be taking away is how many good people there are in this world. Um, from studying sociology, I see how many people actually want to make a change. Um, the people in my classroom really want equality and we study it. We want to actually see it happen. We go out and try to do jobs to promote this. And it honestly has been an eye-opening opportunity just to work with these people and study with these. Even the teachers especially, showing me and really giving me all they have to make sure that I learn and love what I do. I want to teach, and I want to teach sociology. Because of uh, sociology, I was able to, you know, get introduced to like nonprofit organizations that I'm working with now. I'm hoping that with what I've learned, I'll just be able to continue to network with other people, hoping to work with children, um, either in my hometown or here in the Bay Area, specifically children who are at risk and whether it's mentoring, counseling, I want to be able to be that person who will be there to help them. From sociology, I plan to really apply all I can, learning from the problems, learning from the difficulties, learning from the inequalities. Um, I notice that people just want to be treated fairly and um, I want to go into counseling specifically. I want to stay in higher education um, and help people succeed. Hopefully I get into human resources. I want to be in management and I want to be around people and get to know people, maybe some social work. I hope I take away everything I learned actually about sociology and what all, all, all the classes that I've like taken here and I hope that I am able to uh, carry it on with my, in my future and um, maybe apply it to the real world when I go into the job. We've already practiced creating change on our campus and I think based on that all of the sociology students are very well prepared for the future because of our faculty. Sociology taught me to be me, basically. Uh, to, to say, look, you shouldn't, like, there's a certain norm that uh, our society puts on us, and um, to just be you, you know, to be different, to. Uh, to voice out, to be a critical thinker. And just learning about other cultures and learning about their norms and it just gives us a better understanding of who we are as human beings. As a sociologist, you definitely see society differently. You don't see it the same as you did before you took a sociology class. So we can spread the knowledge we've gained to other people and hopefully collectively work together to fix the institution improving society. Thank you to all the faculty. You guys have been like really, really thorough with everything and you've taught us so much and we hopefully as sociology students will go out in the world and make you guys proud. I'm a sociology student at San Jose State University.